two, one. What is going on, everybody? This is the Undefeated by Choice podcast brought to you by Still Fist Fights. We are joined today with Trevor Bradshaw going into his trilogy fight with Joe Mama. My man, how you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? So the first question I always get do when I get in here is because uh, of my own personal interest. I don't know I'm weird like this, but I'd like to know people's nickname and origin of the nickname. Do you, <laughs> do you have one? Did you get one? How'd you get it? No, and this is a shout out to Pat Patton. Um, okay. Man, I... Uh, you know, I haven't had a nickname. Everyone asks me. I always put NA on my, you know, paperwork. Uh-huh. Um, he just posted something the other day saying uh, Trevor Bradshaw or Bam Bam Bradshaw. And I was okay. like, what? <laughs> what is this? You know, I, yeah. I couldn't even comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll roll with it. You know, I called my coach. I was like, man, are you seeing this? You know, I don't, I'm just hated, you know. You hate Bam Bam? I just, I, just, I, I don't know, man. It's, yeah. You know, I, I just... They come up with them. I think I think Pat does it on purpose to give people ones that they don't want. Because yeah. he gave Lucas a uh, madman. And Lucas was like, no, man, yeah. that's not me. So maybe exactly. if you don't have one, he just, yeah, I think he messes around and gives yeah. you one. So you'll come up with them on your own. Or that someone, so someone will give you one. Sure. Well, if you don't have one, I, I, I got three that you won't like because no one ever likes them. I always, but I always have them. So one is uh, uh, Brutal Trevor Bradshaw. Brutal. Brutal. Pass. Pass, hard pass. pass. Uh, hard pass. So the other ones are going to hard pass too. Uh, uh, Trevor the Beast, Bradshaw. The Beast, it's cliche. Yeah, okay, okay. And uh, this one you might like. First round, Trevor Bradshaw. First round, I ain't digging it. You're not? I'm not digging it, man. <laughs> I think. But uh, you have, you've had like two fights go past the first round. Exactly. Uh, man, growing up, I was in some trouble. I was in a, you know, little group home, Did you know, and I had some Proctor brothers. And this is cliche too, but I was a diesel tech, you know, going okay. through schooling for a diesel mechanic. And this was before I was even into, you know, MMA. Yeah. You know, I was a little knucklehead fighting and stuff. But uh, the boys just started calling me diesel, okay. you know. Yeah, and yeah. It was way before I'd even see myself in this position. Uh-huh. And so I thought of that, but again, it's it's everywhere, you know. Yeah, just yeah. So that didn't really stick. Um, Worked with a good group of guys for like 10 years, man. And I was a little heated some, on some job sites and uh, I was a, an equipment operator. And uh, these guys nicknamed me the lion in the cage. Okay. Because I'd be up in the, you know, excavator and they would just be like, you get heated in your mat. So we just, I was like, man, he's a lion in the cage, you know? I like that. And then so, but man, I just, I just like my name, okay. you know? Okay. So right. if it falls, you know, something okay. else comes up that sticks, yeah. I ain't feeling bam, bam, bam. Okay. Yeah, not bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't put a lot of thought into these. I used to try, like when I first was doing it, I was like, I'm going to put a lot of thought into these right. nicknames and really try to sell them on them. But no one's ever liked them. No one ever went with them. Lucas did like my man, though. Yeah, uh, he that, may go with works. it. He may, he may go with my man. Nice. But, uh, yeah, so I just, but, but uh, first round, I mean, you, you, I mean, do you just hate? Do you hate fighting that much? You just want to get it over as quick as possible. Like I love fighting. Yeah, but that's, that's absolutely not the point. So, but you know, when I see when I see an opportunity to finish in a fight, yeah. and you know, that's just that's you it. Mean, you got to pull the trigger. Yeah. You got to know when to go. Yeah. Um, a lot of thing I've been focusing on is just content. You know, composure. Um, just being relaxed. I, I'd love to have fun. Yeah. And, and you know, I want to make this guy realize that he made a mistake. You know, and I don't feel he's at all close to a professional like I am as far as attributes go athleticism and just overall I don't think he's in it like I'm in it and so personally I would love to take him into deep waters and drown him but if I see the finish happening early I'm gonna take it yeah if if I get in there and just find my find my groove and take my time well we'll see what happens is this a a, a a personal, you know, a personal thought process you have with this opponent, or is this kind of how you go? The thought process you have with all your opponents. All that you, my opponents. You, you, you absolutely. You. If I see it, man, you got to go. Yeah. It, we're we're in a fight. Yeah. And you know, you can get complacent, you can get caught, and that's the risk you take. Yeah. But 
nine times out of ten, bro, if you if you pull the trigger, yeah, you gotta go. If yeah. you see, you know, if you see him hurt or at all, you can you could tell. Yeah, for sure. Well, that was a nickname. That was a nickname I was gonna do the hard pass on. That I gave a hard pass on was something around the lines of like the Spartan or something because you seem like the type that you're either you're that's gonna win like or you're going that. out on. That's pretty good. Oh. I like that. <laughs> Dang, that's pretty that's, cool, that's, that's the one. I, that's the one I was like. That's the one I was like. It's too cliche. But <laughs> no. the way you fight seems like you're gonna, either you're gonna win or you're going out on your shield. Right. Like you're not. You're not just gonna play it safe. You're not gonna. You're going in to win, and you either win or lose. But you, you're going out there. I think I had one fight go to the decision. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I broke my jaw in the second round, about a minute into the second round. Ooh. Hey, uh, man. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Miller. Anthony Miller. Austin Miller, one of the brothers. I think it was Austin. Okay. Uh, tough fight. It was going good. First round was pretty close. Second round came out. He threw a flying knee. It missed. And uh, he threw it again. And I ducked right into it, man. Ooh. Ducked right into it. Sound like a baseball bat. Yeah. I remember going down to bite down on my mouthpiece. And I was like, all right. You know, Sounds but what I, what I love about that fight, it was almost my favorite fight just yeah. because it taught me so much about my durability. Yeah. And. Just going through it, man. I ended up breaking my jaw, my orbital, and my cheekbone, and I went to. Decision. All of that one shot, or through throughout I think the fight. It was, it definitely was the jaw for uh -huh. me, yeah. and then I took a couple uh, <laughs> overhand rights that uh, for my orbital, and then it was just a combat. It was a battle. Yeah. It was good. If you yeah. haven't seen it, look it up. It's yeah. on YouTube. Um, but yeah. How long did it take your jaw to heal after that? Fortunately, I got lucky enough, and they have to get it wired shut. Uh huh. It was fractured in two places. They told me just go home. They, they couldn't even do yeah. anything for oh, me. Man. They said yeah. just go home. We'll see a specialist Monday. Yeah. And it took a minute, you know. Yeah. And I think it was more of a in my head injury of like w wondering if my jaw will ever be the same. Right. How yeah, how it's gonna hold up. Yeah. And I mean, besides my bite, you know, yeah. it's it's good. Yeah. It, it kind of shifted my bite off. Of yeah. My parents yeah. were pissed because my braces and all that. <laughs> up. Yeah. Hey man, they uh. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering because I, I thought I had, uh, broke my jaw one time and I never went and got it looked at. And uh, it, it, my, my my bite was off and it was it was like seven months. I felt like my, my jaw just was always sore. Like I'd you know, be chewing something all of a sudden a pain would kick into yeah. my jaw. So I didn't know what had happened with it. So I was just wondering like what the time frame on a broken jaw is because I was like, I, after a while, I was like, this is ridiculous. Is my jaw going to hurt for the rest of my life? Yeah. It was, but, it was a good six months, yeah. man. For sure. Yeah. Not taking it. Okay. Not, you know, not being yeah. active. Yeah. Kind of taking it easy with what I eat. And yeah. It was rough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I'm pretty sure that Eric broke my jaw that time. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so how's the family doing, man? You're a, you're a recently your fiance. 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 Man, June 22nd. It's okay. coming up quick, man. When I signed that contract, there was yeah. some controversy on her end for sure. <laughs> but uh, man, she she loves me. Man. She didn't want you have black. She didn't want a black eye <laughs> no, in the. Man, I told her to give her give it character. <laughs> yeah, she that's just, a story she to tell. Crack a smile. <laughs> so, uh, man, she's she's great, man. Uh, this last few years, you know, starting into my fighting career, um, you know, I'm single dad. I have full custody of my daughter, man, and she's like my number one motivation. Yeah. And I know that even sounds cliche, but man, it's true. No, it, it, it is absolutely 100% true, man. I, that's that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And uh, win, lose, or draw, man. My biggest objective in life is to show her that you just have to keep pushing through no matter what. Yeah. And uh, it's working, you know. Yeah. She's growing up right. She's absolutely amazing. Blows me away day by day basis, man. Yeah. So yeah, family's doing good. Good, good. Great. Yeah, your your fiance, she she gets more she gets more worked up for the fight than you do. That your last your last fight, man. She was she was jumping, flying around. She yeah. was screaming. She was burying her face in other people's arms and running around. And yeah, she yeah, she was she was she, she she's awesome. Uh, yeah, she, she's a supporter for sure. You have a big support group that, that yeah. shows up. That's awesome. And then you know, being a single dad, know exactly how that is, man. And I actually was, was just saw the videos just recently that you posted of you holding mitts for her throughout her life as she's been growing up. Right, right. That's so yeah, awesome. I, and yeah. I was trying, you know, I uh, was trying to put some stuff together. I'm not great at, uh, you know, for editing and doing all this stuff, social media. You know, I try, man, but I just I'm so busy, caught up in like yeah. the real real life, you know, uh -huh. and. I just wanted to share a little bit about that. You know, she's just, she's amazing. Yeah. Man. And just how, how she progresses. And, and that's just, 
not what she wants to do 100 percent of the time i right. feel i push too much on it in fact so all the times we do end up doing it it's her coming to me and be like hey you know, yeah let's, let's yeah. bust out the mitts yeah I'm like what all right you know, we'll <laughs> yeah. drop whatever and let's yeah. get going yeah. but there for a minute man i was pushing too hard you yeah know, like trying to turn her into a terminator you know yeah. it's just you got to do this and yeah. this and this and we got her into cheer and backed off and then but now she comes yeah. around so yeah, it's always it's it really is so important it's, I've, i mean i've said this numerous times on this podcast how important it is for young women to know how to defend themselves i mean my little girl will be doing jujitsu sure she absolutely 100 percent, no question no there's no there's no thought about it she never has to fight she never has to do a tournament she never has to do anything agree, but she has man. to know how to do I it agree. and being able to throw hands you know is is a bonus. it's a definitely a bonus it's definitely a bonus even just like i don't know it's like I don't, i'm that dad that's like when i pick up my daughter and the at daycare and they're like oh maddie hit somebody and i'm like and then i talk to her i'm like Why'd you hit? Why'd you hit her? <laughs> why'd you hit him? Cause he did this, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, yeah good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, yourself, yeah. The know? little boy takes your toy, you knock him out. Absolutely. But you know, that's not what I say in in public. In public, I'm like, no, I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, yeah, girl, go knock him out. So yeah, that that's awesome, man. Uh, and you know, good job on on. And it is cliche to say, you know, it's all for them, but it's the truth. We've seen a resurgence in Cowboy's career for oh, that man, very reason. Yeah, he's you know all time favorite right yeah. there man he's yeah yeah after yeah. tony man what's gonna happen with that you know, it's that division is that division is crazy right now that division is a mess and it's all because of one man who i don't who i don't personally like i don't even want to say his name okay bro. good let me good we don't have to talk about him I, I hear his name too much but yeah that's that's he that, that's a crazy division um so who where are you training at Mori academy okay yeah, that's my home man yeah uh eddie he's great yeah uh got some killers tracy's fighting on that car yeah yep. uh, mike jones that's gonna be a war mm -hmm. um man we're ready though yeah I mean, Tracy's a beast. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I'm glad to have him on my side. Are you a recipient of the leg locks all the time, or are you putting something on him every once in a while? Man, uh, <laughs> he's dangerous, bro. You learn really not is. to. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. it, you'll swear you think you have it, yeah. and you'll all go for him, yeah. but it's just better if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, so I'm, it's, no matter what happens, he's going to flip it, and then before you know it, you're you're there, man. Yeah. And, 95 percent of the time it's premature you know we train smart over there we're not you know we're good teammates but yeah he lets you know for sure yeah that he's that he's he's it, looking for it and he'll yeah. grab it like that yeah yeah it's 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 very <laughs> very impressive to watch it i'm almost i'm almost gonna tell him i want to i want to do the podcast over the phone because i don't want my legs anywhere near he'll him grab it. <laughs> i don't i don't want my <laughs> legs snatch i don't want my out. legs underneath the table even near him <laughs> i don't want to grab hold of him yeah he's uh he, he's very talented it's, it's funny I, I'll, i'm gonna tell him this to on it when i interview him though uh his last fight um i can't even remember who it was against it was a mark that marco yeah, yeah yeah that was a good that was a that was a great fight and then they go to the ground and tracy grabs his leg and at that time eric munoz i was we were sitting at the table and eric munoz leans over and he's like man i really want to like call tracy and have him come up and train with us and show us that stuff because he's so skilled at it he's like but i'm kind of sure. he said but i'm kind of nervous too because i think he's a potential opponent and then well, i know he wanted that fight and then i know he wanted and that then fight. and then like and then 30 seconds later, or not even 30 seconds, 10 seconds later, Tracy's like, Eric Munoz. And Eric's like, yeah, that's why. Yeah. So, like, yeah. he definitely uh, respects okay. he definitely respects his game. But Eric's game to fight everyone, anyone. Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, uh, but it was just so funny because he's like, I, I kind of want to, like, learn some stuff from him. Yeah. And then he's like, but I think he might be a potential opponent. And right. then he's like, it's Eric Munoz. So, yeah, that's it. That's That'd be a good one, man. Yeah. I mean. Eric stuff yeah. from what I've seen of him, yeah. stuff durable. Yeah, I've been doing it a while. Yeah, so yeah, that's some good. good. So good, some good dudes, and and Maury's is just that's a that's a great that's a great facility. You guys, you guys got some good fighters out there. Do you? Uh, so with you being i mean you're just you're known as a striker like that's that's what everyone's i mean you're knocking people out first round left and right but you're at like a primary jujitsu school does that is that are you doing that on purpose to be like let's, i know i got good go, hands let's go to the ground yeah I'm, i know you know, i got yeah this last few years uh we've been nothing but focusing just on my jits yeah and, uh I'm not a fan of rolling the with a gi. Eddie probably is very, very, very pissed about that. <laughs> you just said he's, that out loud. Yeah, I can edit it if you want no, me to. No, <laughs> he, he he knows. Uh, he's been trying to get me in there for years in a gi. Um, but 
I just I like nogi, man. I like the what I'm what I'm working on. You know, yeah. I I have a goal. I, you know, I'm not gonna compete in a gi. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna you know benefit me in any way. I'm sure it will leaps and bounds benefit me. So who's to say you know I, that I won't broaden my horizons yeah. and give it a shot. But for right now, man, it's working. Yeah. Um, I'm locking stuff up all the time. My game's getting a lot better. I'm feeling comfortable. Yeah. I'm falling in love with it, man. Yeah. Like as much as I love stand up and and landing those knockouts, it's there's something different about having that control on the ground and. Uh, just dominating and yeah. locking stuff up and working, you know, if you're yeah. in trouble, it's just, it's amazing. I yeah. Love it. There's, there's a good, there's a fine balance or like a, it's a thin, thin gray, gray area of, well, I just mixed a bunch of metaphors together. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a gray area of, uh, when you have somebody who's like really good at something and they go to a camp that, that focuses on that. So you have someone who's, you know, a bunch of wrestlers and then they're going to AKA or something, right. you know, with all the, with all the top wrestlers. Um, but then and you have fighters that are really good at something and then they go to a gym that primarily focuses on something else like like in your in your case like that only makes them a more well-rounded fighter right. if they're willing to accept like fully embrace like I'm I go to a primary you know a jiu-jitsu school sure. and I'm a I'm a big time striker it's only going to make your game better if you t fully embrace that so I'm glad to hear that that's absolutely. like what you've been working on what you've been doing oh, yeah, absolutely I it was a uh... I forgot what fight it was. It was a title fight in one of my in uh, my amateur career. Uh, Shea Barron from Idaho, tough guy. It was like at 205. Uh, it was a little heavier back then, and uh, that's all it was was shot after shot after shot, you know. And all the tape leading up to that was knockouts, knockouts. So it's like yeah. that's when I really decided, hey man, that's what everyone at this level is gonna do. They don't, you know, they're gonna feel that power. They don't want to stand. Right. They're gonna shoot. Yeah. And so that's just where we went to work mm -hmm. and now i have to say i'm 100 percent confident in it and i'm, I'm well-rounded yeah. learning every day you know i'm not gonna say i've got it all figured out i'm right. fine you know that um but we're making progress for sure good good well i'm excited to hear that i'm excited to see that i'm excited to see the work i want to see you i want to see you on the ground but well, I, the I, last I, fight with joe i had you know i was trying to lock up an americana and i had it and uh he was a little thicker it was hard, you know, it was hard to get it on him. His frame was just a little bigger. Um, I abandoned it and then I went back to it and uh, just trapped his arm and just started dropping punches. And then, you know, that's that's kind of how that went. Yeah. But, uh, man, I kind of looked back at that and I was like, Shh. it always feels good to just beat someone up, you know? Yeah. But I would I would have liked to lock that up yeah you know yeah it's to show, hey man showcase you know, more i got a submission on my record and yeah. you know there's gonna be more to come yeah but yeah in the future man for sure yeah yeah you will you, you, you it, will, it will happen it will happen for you um how's the weight cut coming along man it's not a weight cut at all yeah no not yeah. at all and this is uh it's been good you know i'm i'm a boy i like cutting weight at the same time i'm against it you know it's hard it's tough i heard mm -hmm. uh you know the whole thomas hughes and all yeah. you know it's it's dangerous if you're not doing it right i'm yeah. for it and at the same time it's i'm a fighter man yeah. you know i'll fight at 205 85 170 uh we talked about 55 that'd be a that'd be a cut for me but yeah i could do it yeah. guaranteed i can do it yeah i just want to see how i would perform yeah so uh we'll see man yeah uh, i'll tell you right now though i'm over this 85 i mean especially when he's not going to make the weight i can almost guarantee my whole purse that he's going to be off another 12 pounds um but I, i'm not going to shy away from that you know i weighed in at 176 and he weighed in at like 197 that last fight and uh i felt felt amazing yeah my power my strength he it was far exceeds what he has you know he's a little heavier and he's got knockout power the first fight he clipped me, it was a little controversial, you know, he, 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 he clipped me, caught my chin, it was a flash knockout, and uh, I wish it would have gone just two seconds a little longer, you know, it was a co-main event, you know, let us fight, man, yeah, let yeah. him put me out, yeah. let him put me to sleep, Yeah, and that's you, what he claims, man, he says yeah. he put me to sleep, and I, I beg to differ with it, and so I have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of feelings towards that with going into the that second fight, you know, putting that on him and this third fight what i'm about to do to him just to let him know it was you know it, 
that should have never happened like yeah. that yeah but it's a fighting game so so i always <laughs> like uh, you know i usually when i usually do this i, I talk about you know uh the the trash talking you two don't seem to do uh, a bunch of trash talking but there does seem to be some heat between you two is it just stemmed from just the these fightings or I think it's our personalities that are clashing man uh -huh. he's, a, he's 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 an individual that's very very prideful and for myself i am too but yeah. sometimes sometimes that pride gets you yeah you know, it gets you into some trouble so you try you try to stay humble you got to be confident yeah but uh i just think it's our personalities yeah yeah and as far as trash talking goes man you know i'm for it i don't like the fake trash yeah, talking yeah but you know our personalities are going to just bring the war to each other yeah so. Yeah, well, as long as hey, that, that's gonna talk for itself. As long as you, get, you guys keep doing what you're doing in the in, in the octagon, I mean, we're we're as fans, we're good with it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. have had two fights now. I don't think that between the two, you've gone over. You, I don't think you've been in the cage for longer than two minutes with each other no. in 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 those two fights. So, I mean, for you guys, you're like we're ready to close the door on this uh, this trilogy and and then this move on with our careers. And as fans, we're like, you guys can keep running this back all as yeah, many nah, times man. as you want. <laughs> no, I, I want to end it. Yeah. end it. Move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, absolutely. Drop back yeah. down to 170. See yeah. how I feel there, and make yeah. that 55 cut. Yeah, and yeah. Tear up that division. Cuts are cuts are. Um, you know, I've always, you know, most most of the fighters, especially uh, that I've interviewed recently, that most of them aren't doing big cuts. Most of them have. Thomas has did the biggest cut of anybody that of yeah, anybody that we've nuts, interviewed. Man. That's crazy. And you know, as it, but the way he explains it is, you know, as long as you're doing it smart, right? I'm okay with it. Right. You know, but that I know there's so many that aren't doing it smart. And that's no, generally why I'm against it. Right. And you know, they're pretty educational towards it. You know, it yeah. seems like they got him and Lucas have it down, and a lot of fighters have it down. Yeah. Um, for myself. When I, you know, when I cut to uh, seventy, you know, it's I cut sixteen pounds in two days, and, yeah. that, and I can do that fine, yeah. no problem. Yeah. So we got that down yeah. at one seventy. Um, I'd have to get the diet under control for the fifty-five. Yeah. Uh, no going to KFC. <laughs> yeah, no KFC, <laughs> man. Um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I mean, you seem like someone who's pretty much got, especially when it comes to fitness, you look like you got it together as far, were you a wrestler? What was your, what's your background? In, in, I played football. Okay. In, uh, okay. So we didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't do weight cuts. No, okay. no. I was like cracking heads, man. Yeah. Was, you know, for, but uh, never got into wrestling. I was, like I said, kind of when we first started, um, I was a little knucklehead, man. Grew up fighting all the time. Yeah. You know, and. It definitely defines me who I am, you know, not proud of it, but that's kind of contradicting because at the same time, it's who I am and that's what made me yeah. who I am. Yeah. But if I could go back and beat the shit out of my uh, <laughs> Yourself, you know, knucklehead, yeah. man, I would. Yeah. But uh, we're always just fighting. Well, being here in Utah, it seems to be, I, I've noticed it's a lot more prevalent. Fighting is a lot more prevalent than pretty much anything else around here and that's why i'm always trying to sell people that utah has a fight culture absolutely byu had a had a fight club at you know at like i can't remember it was like 2002 or something really? yeah they had a really? fight club like i've always said like mormons they can't drink they can't smoke but they can fight they can like fight. the whole the whole book of mormons wars so it's like we so you know it, we, we we do definitely come from a fight culture so like being a young kid growing up fighting like you know the school i went to there's fights all the time right and, and it wasn't like a dangerous thing you go you'd fight and usually you'd end up being buddies with the guy after it was right. over you yeah. know you have that mutual respect sure. the same thing you see in the octagon they get done and, and you know it's yeah. it's over the only time you know to me the only time a fight the only time i cringe and hate to see a fight is when it's obvious that one person doesn't want to be a part of it right you know when one person doesn't want to fight and someone's putting it on them that's when i get real cringy and don't want to be a, you know i want to end, I, I I like end to it get knocked out yeah you know <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah yeah Absolutely, the bullies yeah Absolutely. yeah yeah but when i see two people that are equally they they want it then that's then it's an enjoyable thing to see you know yeah. it's, it's it's competition it's it's what it's Absolutely. what we do so you know you saying it defines you it probably does you grew up in a culture that you know it's not like we we at, at that point we weren't um like idolizing it or making it bit or making it like a grand thing but it was just kind of what we did right. you know it was you know roy high's mentality was we might not beat you in the field but we'll beat you in the parking lot like that's what we would say you yeah. know yeah. that was like our, our thought process so um so you know no, that's 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 fine um 
So when you did decide to go into MMA, how how did that happen? How did you? I mean, you were, hey, I, I fight on the streets. Let's see what oh, I can man. do in the octagon. What had happened is uh, I was really into music. I shred on the guitar, man. Was uh, full steam ahead, man, chasing that uh, the band life. Yeah, you know. And uh, we were playing for like five years together as a band, and uh, we were at the complex ready to play a show. 2012, maybe. Can't. Not for sure. And uh, there was a band that was playing, and uh, the front man, the singer, screamer, whatnot, we just didn't, for some reason, I can't tell you why, he had a problem with me, man. And he was up on stage. I don't know if you've been at the complex before, but it was yeah. the Grand Room. Uh -huh. So it was, yeah. it was like shoulder, you know, height. And he was just on the mic, just running his mouth, dude, pointing at me, calling me all sorts of names. And I'm like, what is going on, man? You know, I was, I didn't understand. Yeah. yeah. So I bought into it, you know, I just like, man, I'm just going to keep poking this guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's on stage. What is he going to do? Yeah. And so I went up right up in the front of the stage, you know, and I was like, just, just po pushing his buttons, you know, and I got a little too close to the stage and uh, he ended up kicking me in my shoulder neck area i do have all this on film oh, so yeah. this is this is 100 <laughs> true really, yeah. story so he ends up kicking me and i'm shocked you know yeah. I'm like i just got booted yeah. in my neck yeah and so i look back to the sound booth and everyone's like yeah yeah he just got kicked <laughs> and he was like do something and i was like all right and so you see me leave frame, yeah. bro. I come yeah. up and I come up on the stage, dude, and just lay one on <laughs> one mean right hand, dude. Just tank. Big brawl started. Yeah. Chaos. People jumping up on stage. Yeah. Killed the show. And I think it was a maybe a week or two after, either Pat or Kevin <laughs> notified me, dude. Got a hold of me and were like, "Hey, man, we seen clean that. Right hand. We, yeah, we seen that, dude. Have you ever considered fighting in the cage?" I'm like, "Nah, man." Uh. I don't know, you yeah, know, I'm, yeah. I'm just kind of break my hands, you know, yeah. I'm shredding. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. I'll think about it. Yeah. And uh, at the time, I was just going through this nasty breakup, dude. And just, it was getting to me. I was getting back on track and lifting, man. And I was like, I think I'm going to just do it. Yeah. And in fact, we played our last show I played with them was on a Thursday night. I weighed in Friday night and then fought Saturday. And. I told the band, hey, man, there's nothing like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I've been on stage. I've yeah. performed in front of a crowd of people yeah. with my bandmates. But I couldn't explain to them how how much more of a rush and adrenaline. It was just you in there. You don't yeah. have four other bandmates in there, you know, working together. You're just by yourself. Yeah. And I fell in love with it, man. I was just like, I'm going to just take a step back from the music. And yeah. It was hard. It was very hard. Cause my, you know, we put in a lot of work. It was like five, six years with this band, yeah. and I tried to juggle both, and I just had to make a decision that I got to step back. Yeah. So that's kind of how that yeah, went. That's about, great. It's, it's, it's funny. That's a great story. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. Man. That's a great story. I love this. Pat Kevin, like, hey, you got a good, yeah, nice right hand. Come fight for us. I'm pretty sure it was I'm sure that sounds like a Pat Pat's, move. Pat's that, kind of scene, that, you that know. That sounds like a Pat's move. Like, hey, that guy sounds right hand. Let's bring him out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's pretty interesting because you had did did you were you able to use that kind of knowledge of how it felt to f be in front of a crowd um, already to like calm yourself and like not have these crazy nerves going to the fights. I think so many times that, that ruins fighters. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. You man. already you knew. I, I perform better, man, under pressure. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I put a camera in my face. Yeah. I'm going to perform better, yeah. bro. So you knew, you knew what it felt like to be in front of people and have people cheering for you and have oh, yeah. people even booing and, and that not affecting you, yeah, you know, man. you could yeah. just go perform exactly. and do what you do. That's yep. awesome. Uh, so with music being as important as it is, does do you, to you, do you uh, put a a lot of thought into your walkout songs or man, that's the hardest part or is it and the man, same Pat one kevin will tell you man they're bugging me they're texting me all the time hey man we got to get that uh walkout song and it's like it's like the night before yeah every time yeah they're like we're gonna pick one for you yeah and they know better you know <laughs> I'll, I'll send it yeah I'll just give me a minute yeah just let you figure just, it, man I, that's the hardest part of my fight count if i were to <laughs> so yeah. figure out what song i'm gonna walk out to if i were ever to walk out again i've already known i already know what song i'm walking out to 
it's Sweet Caroline, especially in your position where you're later in the night because then people have drinks in them and they're, you play that song, everyone's going to cheer. Good, everyone's going to go nuts. Yeah, yeah, Everyone good. wants that's to sing along with that. It's got to be later in the card though. If you're yeah. early in the card, you yeah, can't play it. People don't have the same effect. They're not going to sure. sing along, but then once later in the night, they'll okay. be singing along and you'll be a fan favorite. Guaranteed. I forgot what kid walked out. It was a few fights ago at Still Fist and he came out to Bad of the Bone and I was like... <laughs> that ass, dude. Uh, yeah. I, I dug it for yeah. sure. Yeah, if you can, if you can get yourself, uh, if you can get yourself a, a good one that everyone knows, it's been different every time. Yeah, I yeah. can't come out to the yeah. same song every time. If I lost to that song, I won't even play it. It's back, gone. Bro. I don't even listen to it. <laughs> it's out of your eye. It's out of your. It's your off. Your, it's off your phone. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, hey, you got to do what works for you. Um, all right, man. So we got May thirty first. It's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah. It's coming up. You and Joe Mama. Um, obviously, I, you know, I usually ask what we what we think people's strengths are. We know what your guys' strengths are. Both of you. You both got hands. Yeah. And you're gonna throw them. Yeah. Uh, do you see? Uh, do you have a? Uh, when we go, when we're breaking it down to, um, you know, it, it, you guys are gonna throw hands. Do you have like a? I know you, you're visualizing yourself in many different scenarios, in every different scenario, in every way the fight can go. But do you have a, a, like a set, a set vision in your mind of how this thing's going to end? It's going to be brutal. Yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, I've <laughs> played it over a thousand times, and yeah. every one of them is different. You know, yeah. it's yeah. just like. Like I said, man, it's hard to predict what's going to happen in there. And in every fighter that's fought in there knows, you know, you know the cliche. You have a game plan until you get hit. Yeah. You know, whatever. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's you get in there and you see an opportunity to take it. If you don't take it, you're taking a chance of you know letting him reset or or him getting off before you get off. You know, you got to dictate the pace of the fight. But I just, you know, I just. Just do my thing, man. Yeah. And I don't overthink too much. I, I trust what I've been through. I trust, you know, my experience. I've seen it. I've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah. Been, you know, I've been, I've been caught a lot of times. I've, I've took some punches. I've, you know, delivered some punches. And it's nothing new, man. Yeah. It's just another fight. Do you have any pre-fight rituals you do? Are you, very, I mean, do you? Uh, what's, what's the word? Yeah. Do you have any rituals that you man, go through? Um, just family time. Yeah. You know, it, yeah, I mean, there's super, a lot of superstitions that you I try to get rid of those yeah you know even with fight shorts you know yeah. I was like I lost in those I'm never gonna wear them again you know yeah I, I was falling into that and yeah. then I was like come on that's silly yeah that's yeah silly um I just like to spend time man um the hardest part for me is just just chilling relaxing yeah, yeah. you know I always feel I have to be doing something um but not really, man. I it, it might vary. Yeah, you know, it changes, but family time. Yeah. Do you, what's your like uh, backstage like? Leave me alone. Don't talk to you. Don't talk to me, man. Okay. I'm there to fight. I'm there to do what I do. Sometimes, you know, I like to be lax. I'm not like a you know, an asshole. I'm not yeah. trying to just like get away from me. You know, I yeah. like to keep it cool, but at the same time, I like to have my own space, get my mind right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I just like to ask people that because I'm always back there taking pictures and stuff, and I, <laughs> I'm like, "Are well, you gonna be pissed off at me for no, this?" No, <laughs> no, man, I, 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 zone, yeah. I zone it out. Yeah, you know, yeah, I feel like doing do right. You know, yeah, I know, I know a lot of people have different um, looks at it, and what works for some might not work for others. Some are back there just like not even taking it serious, you know, and they're yeah. like, "Man, you're about to go fight." You know, yeah. you might want to. We got our teammate Warren, and he was sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping in the back underneath the table, you know, just bundled up. Like, where's Warren? And he's underneath the table. And yeah. dude, he went out there and just dominated, yeah. man. But yeah. you, it's like, wake up, bro. You're yeah. about to fight. And he was like, all right, Warren, you gotta get your staging, bro. He's yeah. like, oh, I got it. All right. Okay. Cool. I've met cool. Warren. I've he met is, Warren before. He's, Warren's a he's, badass, bro. He's he's a unique I like, gentleman. I like him a lot. He's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Everyone's got their own thing, man. As long as it works for him, for sure. If they're doing something that doesn't work for him, then you got to change it up. Exactly. But, be you, man. But yeah. You know, don't yeah. ever try to be someone you're not. Yeah. And in my opinion, I think there's a lot of that. You yeah. know, whether you know, and you have. So many people doing amazing things, like on the high level, like the name we were gonna say, but we won't say. Yeah, not at all. We're still not gonna. Not this episode. Credit. And no. 
I think everyone just has to stay true to who they are. Yeah. And it's going to work itself out. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, what's, uh, do you have a, the last thing I'll ask about that, the, the fight or whatever your preparations or whatever, but do you have a, do you have a post fight celebration? Do you have a thing that you, that you do like fights over? This is what I'm doing. <laughs> Man. You know, sometimes we might go out and celebrate, you know, kind of unwind a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's just let's go home, you know, yeah. spend family time. It just kind of <clears throat> depends, you know, but varies, you know. Yeah. I like to I like to give thanks and uh, show the people that came out to support me. That's the biggest thing Yeah. is the people supporting a fighter in this that – and I could be an ass sometimes, you know, my mind and my, with my family, you know, they, they go through so much yeah. to deal with what I go through. And yeah. every, every time after training, I get home and dinner's done, food's on the table and I just couldn't be more blessed, man. Yeah. And I just have to give my family, you know, Sam and Riley the credit for that. Bro. Yeah. Cause I just, I couldn't imagine not having a support system and trying to go through this. So the bigger support system you have, I think that's uh, beneficial for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, w with, along with what you're saying, like all the, the sacrifice you do to get ready for this fight and all the sacrifice that everyone else goes through to even help you, help you go, get through all this, you know, it's kind of unique with, um, with, these kind of these you know local promotions is people can fight so much and so people get kind of used to it you know you got carrie Lattimore who fights like every weekend you know yeah. and it's like yeah. and, and and so like they kind of just like oh yeah i'm fine i'm doing this but like i always want to tell them like no like celebrate what you just did because you 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 first of all you entertained us right you you did your job no win lose or draw you entertained the fans and the fans are there for you and like i always want to tell people like take take that time i mean your family work their butts off to make sure you were Absolutely. good celebrate it and right. if your celebration is going and watching a movie with them at the house or whatever it is yeah, like yeah i'm always like do something though like For sure whatever like everything you were doing was was because the fight game is very selfish it's a very i need to get better i need to work hard i need to do this and there's people they're supporting your teammates and whatever and, and there's all these people supporting you and so now that's your time to say it's, an, it's off me let's just have fun together right. let's just celebrate what however that is i'm not saying you have to go out and party but like however that is so it's i like the sport i like when sure. people i like when people have a, a, a routine that they do after to make it feel like this is special. We went and did something special. That's how that's like, I always try to talk to fighters about that. Like, Hey, make, make a big deal out of it. Cause fans, you, you, you did something great. Those are glory years, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want to look back at this <clears throat> and be like, man. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, it's, it's it, it, as a fan, you know, I, I just always, I always go into this, like, what you guys do, what you guys put yourselves through, it's it's an honor to even be able to talk to you guys, to be able to sit down, pick your brains, get into get into this type of stuff. And it, you're right, it is the glory years. Like you're gonna look back on all this and be like, like I, th you could have had someone in the crowd who you never knew, and right. they saw you go through some adversity in the fight, and they and that inspired them to go do something great. Right. Like it could be something as simple as that. Like you took a hard shot, and then you and then you turned around and threw a hard shot back, and they're like, whoa, right. He got hit so hard, and then he just kept fighting. And you know that what what you guys are doing is so much bigger than just you stepping in the cage and punching somebody. Absolutely. So you know, as a fan, thank you right. for all that you guys do, thank for you. all the preparation you guys put into it. Um, uh, oh, last question. I always got to ask this because you know it's the promotion. But what, how do you like how do you like fighting for Steel Fist? Yeah. I think it's my 12th or 13th fight for him coming up, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're like, majority of your fights. Yeah. 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 I fought, uh, I think one, uh, one or two, two times outside, outside. of the promotion. Yeah. Um, it's a good platform, you know. Uh, I like their growth. I like this. I like what you're doing. So thanks for that. Yeah, you know, I think you. it's, I think it's great. And uh, I just want to see what they're going to do in the future. It's just growing. There's a lot of talent coming up. There's mm -hmm. a, it's a, uh, it's good. It's yeah. good to be a part of, man. Well, we got some big plans. Yeah. We got some big plans. I came in. I came in like a wrecking ball. I was like, let's do all this stuff. They're like, well, good you for gotta, you. They're like, you gotta gotta crawl before you can run. So yeah, we're, we're easing into stuff. But yeah, we got, we got some big plans to make this thing big. Um, last thing I do sounds like you've seen the show a little bit. Uh, you seen the trash talking section? Yeah. Session? Yeah. Section. All right, we're gonna get to that right now. Are you ready for it? Ready for it. All right. So 
All you gotta do is hit that little red button. It's gonna come up with the, the four words up top. For anyone who hasn't seen this, uh, I think trash talk, in, for the most part, is very silly, unless it's genuine, unless you actually so dislike the person. I hit it. But. Yeah, did it come up with four words up top? Yep. Okay. Um, and so I think, you know, trash talk is, it's silly, unless you, unless you really don't like each other, and then it's fine. Uh, but I feel like most of it is manufactured. So I do this segment where I pull up a literal insult generator. So it just generated four words for him, and they are, I, he's laughing already, so I know that they're stupid no one should get offended by this no one should ever like really take this seriously because it is made up on the computer but it's kind of fun it's a fun little thing i do so um do it however you want make it your own may 31st i'm gonna beat joe mama because however you want to do it it's time is yours all right well joe mama you are a doodle sniffing face strangler and i can't wait till may 31st to rearrange that face again <laughs> all right there you have it everybody um make sure you make it out to may 31st to this fight it's gonna be uh, this is this is a, this card i mean it's every that, card well, every card that. i'm excited for uh, like i i i I, 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 I say it over and over again, like, I'm so excited for this card. I'm so excited for this card. This card, you know, I break it down into we have ex this exciting stand-up fight with you and Joe. I, I cannot wait to see it. Um, and then we have Thomas and Florin, an another, like, striking battle that's going to be exciting to watch. And then the Tracy Mike Jones fight, like, a, sta wow. a stand-up guy and, and, a, and a grappler guy. And I hate to just say Tracy's a grappler guy because he proved in his last fight that his stand-up is, is amazing. So I hate to just call him a grappler guy, but with the amount of finishes he has in, in his no, mission, and how, with no, how good it, he is. It fits. Yeah, he, yeah. You know, Mike Jones is going to have his hands full. Uh, I like Mike Jones. I fought him for my pro debut. Man, it was a yeah. bar burner for him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was the first round, and it was just yeah. go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I respect Mike. He's a tough kid. Uh I'm just excited, man. Yeah, it's 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 all around an excellent card, um, and and so right now, if you're watching this, turn it off. Well, no, hit the like and subscribe. There you go. Hit the like and subscribe and share, and then turn it off and go to stillfistfight.com and get your tickets for this. Or or yeah. or <laughs> find Trevor, find Trevor and go there buy tickets go. from Trevor. So if you can't find him, if you can't get a hold of him, then go to stillfistfight.com and get your tickets. Or find Tracy too. Yeah, or any of the yeah. fighters. <laughs> any, of the, any of the fighters that you like. Uh, but if you listen to this podcast and, and, and Trevor got you interested in watching the fight, then you better buy the tickets from Trevor. If he sold them out, then you go to Tracy yeah. and then trickle down effect to everyone else. And then <laughs> however you're going to do it, just come to the fight. Make sure you're out here. Make sure you come check it out. Uh, make sure you follow us here. Um, the Undefeated by Choice podcast on YouTube, iTunes, and as I just said last week, we're now on the iHeartRadio app. So look for us on there. Give us a follow on there. Uh, find uh, the Still Fist on Still Fist Fight Night on facebook and still fist fight on instagram everybody trevor thank you for coming out man thank you man everyone be good to yourself be good to each other i love you